Hey Table Tennis Junkies and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be teaching you the Backspin Tomahawk Serve today. I've played in hundreds of tournaments and against thousands of different players and I've seen the Backspin Tomahawk Serve maybe twice in my life and there's really just no reason for that. One of my favorite things about competitive table tennis is that things are always changing. If things aren't going your way in the match, you have to find new and different ways to, to try to win points and see what works and just always you always need to be changing. The Backspin Tomahawk Serve is really the perfect serve to add to your arsenal of serves because it's spinny, it's uncommon, it's easy to learn, it's deceptive, and it'll set you up for a forehand. And I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get it into your game, so let's get started. Let's start with the grip. So the first thing you're going to want to do is move your hand or your thumb a little to the right and smash that like button. As far as the racket grip, it's the same grip as the shake hand. So your index finger will be on the back here, your thumb will be down, and you'll, you'll keep that same grip whether you're serving the, the tomahawk with backspin or with topspin. As far as the stance goes, I like to have my left foot in front and I, I'm pretty close to the table. My leg generally will kind of brush up against the table here and I'm almost facing kind of not quite away from the table but kind of at an angle away from the table and as I do this the swing on this I'm gonna bring my legs closer together and I'm basically gonna do a squat like this and what that's gonna do is it'll help you to get lower and it'll help you get the body involved with the stroke and in general the more body you have involved the, the better motion and uh, the better motion means better spin so you really kinda want your body involved with most of your serves but especially the tomahawk serves where you just kind of want to want to come through it and, and generate that spin. Okay, so the stroke on the backspin tomahawk serve is uh, pretty different than other backspin serves. It's actually more similar to fast backspin than than like a traditional backspin serve, um, and it also is very different from the tomahawk topspin serve. So with the topspin serve, you're going to be going more forward on the ball like this, and maybe a little bit northern hemisphere on it. With the backspin tomahawk, you're actually going to come straight down the back of the ball this way. So if you think about backspin, you generally people think like the push or forehand push here. So the ball is going to spin this way. So the ball is spinning this way. But if you come down the back of the ball this way, the ball is still going to spin in that same direction. So um, you really, when you're doing the, the tomahawk backspin serve, the best way to do it is to actually come down the back of the ball and not so much forward underneath it. You can do it this way, but it's usually pretty evident that it's backspin and it's, it's much harder to disguise that way. I'll demonstrate the serve here so that you can see it. And notice that I'm coming down the back of the ball instead of underneath the ball to generate the backspin. Here's the variation to the tomahawk serve where I'm going underneath the ball instead of down the back of the ball. You'll, you'll still get backspin on this, but it's going to be much easier for your opponent to read the spin on it. With the tomahawk serve, you can really do it anywhere on your side of the table. Um, I like to do it from my forehand corner or either from the middle, but if you want to do it in the backhand, that's fine. Just kind of go down the line or anywhere is fine. Generally, I'm aiming in that direction over there, though. Let's recap. The first thing you want to do to maximize your output potential on this serve and any serve is to smash that like button and subscribe for more content. For the tomahawk serve, you really just want to get your body involved a lot with this. Uh, be kind of close to the table because you're not going to be going forward on this one. You're just going to be kind of coming down the back of the ball 
And to generate the backspin, which is the hardest part of the tomahawk serve, you want to just come down the back of the ball. That'll, that'll generate the backspin and, and hopefully your opponent will put it in the net because of that. The serve is pretty uncommon, but if somebody does this serve to you, how should you return it? So the first thing is you're going to want to open up your wrist. If they do it into your forehand side, you're going to want to open your wrist to counter that side spin. And then because it has backspin, you'll just want to come underneath it like this. So it's pretty easy return um, if you know what you're doing. So just kind of open it up and, and come underneath it to handle the side spin and the backspin. I generally I'll aim kind of to the middle or maybe to the backhand. Um, and with the tomahawk serve, it's easy to get a lot of spin on it. So I'm generally a little bit more careful with my return if I see that they're doing the tomahawk serve. Okay, so how should you prepare for the next shot after the tomahawk serve? Well, let's actually start with where you should aim and that'll help set yourself up for the next shot. So when I'm doing the tomahawk serve, I like to aim it into my opponent's forehand. And the reason for that is because that's where the side spin on the serve is gonna be the most effective and it'll help set myself up for the forehand the best if I serve it cross court into their forehand. So after the tomahawk serve, I'll, I'll serve into my opponent's forehand and the side spin is gonna pull it into my forehand a little bit and also with it being cross court, it's, it's a little harder to get that ball down the line. So I'll, I'll, but for both those reasons, I'll move into my forehand and prepare for that forehand. That's all for this week's video. If you have any questions about the serve or anything table tennis related, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you on them. Um, I like to respond to all the comments I get. Uh, go ahead and like the video if you haven't already and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Thanks.